Hey friends, not sure what to draw? Today I'm sharing four creative prompts to help you decorate your art journal or sketchbook. Welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell. Oh, you can see that because it's written on my personalized notebook. I just got this new art journal from papier.com. It's a fresh new notebook that I will be using for my art journal. And in order to fill it, I need some creative prompts. So that is exactly what we're going to do together today. I want to take just a second to thank Goodwall for sponsoring our video today. Goodwall is an app-based, positive social community that students use to connect, showcase their achievements, and discover opportunities. It's free and available for both Android and iOS. Students and young professionals use the positive Goodwall community not only to showcase their own resumes, but to connect with 1 million plus other students around the world in dedicated group chats, to join weekly community challenges, and to discover scholarships, online courses, remote internships, jobs, and more. On Goodwall, you can build your profile, basically a personal website that showcases your achievements, skills, and ideas. It's also great for finding inspiration and motivation. Your feed is based on your personal interests and it's a great platform to discover handpicked opportunities, everything from jobs and internships to scholarships. Download the free Goodwall app today. Add a pic of your artwork as one of your achievements, then tag me, Shada Campbell. That way I'll see your post and can leave comments and feedback. I'll also be sharing some of my favorite artwork posts in my IG stories, so don't forget to tag me. Our first creative journal prompt is this floral letter. You can do your own initial or any letter, of course. I'm doing S and I'm starting by simply sketching out an S that's about the size that I want. And I am making it a serif print, which means I'm just kind of adding those lines on the ends and making it a more decorative font. Uh, I tend to sketch with a lot of lines, so I'm erasing some of my pencil marks in order to get a cleaner um, outline. And from there, I'm just going to start erasing pencil bit by bit and adding flowers. And you can see the first flowers I'm doing are just these big round roses. I'm layering marker to give me the look of layers of petals. They're basically just spirals with a few dots in the center for the stamen. So super simple. Um, the floral letter comes together really easily and it's something that is just a nice way to decorate your journal, especially um, in the beginning of the journal to kind of have a a nameplate page or something like that or you could do this as a card for a friend I think that would be really sweet too when doing the floral letter it's also a good idea to think about your color palette ahead of time I'm doing peaches and pinks and then I'm going to contrast them with this beautiful dark green Another thing I've done is I've started with large flowers right in the center of the letter and then I'm kind of working my way outward and the flowers are getting smaller until I actually do some tiny little berries um, on each end. So you can see the design is quite balanced. It's not totally symmetrical or anything like that, but there is some balance there in the color and in the size. And I'm just kind of filling out my flowers, making sure everything looks good. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to fill in the rest of the letter with that dark green. You could pick up any color from the design, but since I bordered my flowers with a lot of green leaves, I thought it would be kind of pretty to um, extend the green out to the rest of the letter and it just flows really nicely. And speaking of everything flowing nicely and being balanced, I decided to add a bit of black fine liner. I'm using the Derwent graphic marker and I find that this really helps to tie in the flowers and leaves with the rest of the letter that doesn't have any floral design on it. So the black marker just brings everything together and you get to add extra details that you might have missed out on with your markers. So I'm just going around everything. In some areas you can really see the marker. In others you can't and that's fine because there's the green is so dark but that is my floral letter all done I hope you'll give this one a try it's simple but striking and it'll look great as part of your art journal 
Okay, next up is a grid. You guys know I love a grid of flowers or herbs or mushrooms, whatever. Just dividing your page into four squares or nine squares and then thinking of something to illustrate, could be anything, is a great way to put together a cute little journal illustration. It's a great way to practice your own illustrative style. And literally, this could be anything. It could be a grid of foods that you like. It could be activities that make you feel good when you're down. It could be your favorite flowers. It could be herbs like I'm doing here. Um, just pick a subject and run with it. And like I said, you could do a grid of nine or four or, or whatever. And uh, you can see I've kept everything in line. And then the lines that I've divided the space into, that's where I put my um, titles. So I have thyme and basil, oregano, rosemary, everything's super structured. The illustrations are small and cute. I'm doing them in marker, um, starting in pencil first, just so I kind of know where I'm headed with that marker. And I'm layering the marker a little bit too, to just give my illustrations that little bit of extra pop. So if you have a couple greens, think about adding a few extra details, even on the purple flowers here, I'm going to give them that little bit of extra color. On the channel over the years, you've seen me do all kinds of grids. We've done herbs, we've done flowers, we've done junk food. Let me know what you would do a grid of. I'd love to read in the comments some great ideas because as I said, this is such a versatile journal prompt and it's a great way to develop your own doodle or illustrative style. All I need to do now is get rid of all those pencil lines and then this looks really balanced and simple, but also really super pretty really super pretty. <laughs> How about that? Okay, moving on, we are going to do our third creative journal prompt to fill up your art journal. So this one is what I call my neon lettering. This is great if you have a simple quote that you kind of want to highlight and use as part of your journal. I am doing shine like the stars. I'm just writing it out in pencil very lightly in my best kind of messy cursive. Then once we're happy with the lettering, you wanna think about your color palette. I'm going to work with some peaches and pinks, but also a pop of periwinkle blue. And we are going to take our markers. The brush pens work really well for this as do chisel tips because you want these really thick, chubby, fat letters that look like when it's done, it's going to look like, I think it kind of looks like a neon sign. So that's the idea I'm going for. Um, you can see as we get really close here that I'm just going over the letters so that the lettering is super chunky. Some of the letters might even be a little hard to tell what they are. If that happens to you, that's fine because we are going to add this black inline with our fine liner marker and then everything will be really clear and easy to read. And the marker portion just becomes this beautiful color wash behind the letter. You can see here, um, as I start to add the fine liner, it looks really pretty and I think it just has this neon effect, like the lettering is glowing in this beautiful bright pinks and blues. Um, this is a great way to do a simple journal page and to also practice your cursive lettering and to highlight some words or poem or quote that you really like and that mean something to you. Or just something silly like this, like, I don't know, shine like the stars <laughs> means anything to me, but I thought it was the perfect quote for um, this neon lettering. All right, there we go. That one is all done. I hope you'll give it a try because this one is really fun and really simple. Okay, I've got one more art journal prompt for you. I was only going to include three prompts in this video, but this one I just had to add because it's simple but effective and I think you're really going to like it. I call it my decorative corners and that pretty much gives away exactly what it is. We're just decorating the corners of a journal page so that later on you could come in and add a quote or poem or something that means something to you. Or it could just be a page in the journal that has these pretty corners. Of course, you know me, I'm going for a sort of floral botanical design. Actually, I'm keeping it even more simple than florals. I'm just doing leaves, different sizes, different colors. Uh, one is just a simple fine liner outline and then we've got some marker leaves in two shades of green and that's it. It's that simple. You could add some tiny flowers, some little twigs or berries, and you just want to kind of do a somewhat symmetrical design in two corners to make it look like the leaves are reaching for one another. 
The result is a lovely decorative page that's nice to have in your journal for when you do have a poem or quote that you'd like to showcase. And that's it for today's video. I hope you'll try these creative and beginner-friendly art prompts in your own journal, whether it's the floral letter or the neon letters or the grid of anything. It doesn't have to be just herbs or the decorative corners. <laughs> these are all fun items that will make your art journal or your sketchbook just that much more full because that's part of it. It's just sitting down to draw, just to draw and to take that creative time. That's it for today's video. Click the link in the description to download the free Goodwall app and use keyword Shada Campbell when sharing your art. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.